This wee beastie here is a giraffe weevil. It's the world's longest weevil. It's only found here in New Zealand. In fact, New Zealand's become famous for its unique animals. Even if you just look at the insects alone, 90% of the species you find here are found nowhere else on the planet. I'm here with a research group from the University of Auckland that are delving into the secret lives of New Zealand's invertebrate animals. Uh, yep. Yeah. So that indicates that it's male. It's a subadult right. because they haven't kind of formed all these like, little ridges and stuff uh, like that. Okay. Dr. Greg Holwell leads the lab and is studying the evolution of animal weapons. Okay, when we talk about animal weaponry, I guess we're interested in the sorts of structures that they possess for fighting one another with. And in most cases, it's the males that possess these structures and they use them to fight one another for access to females. The monoscuted harvestmen have these enormous uh, chelicery or jaws, really exaggerated things. Some species have these jaws that are a bit like a construction crane and they kind of extend out from their face. Uh, and they extend out to be about 10 times the length of the, um, their actual body, so they're enormous things. The spiders that we're working on, similarly it's their jaws that are really exaggerated. Uh, the New Zealand giraffe weevil, which is another fantastic species we've been working on, has this big long um, exaggerated rostrum. It's the, the front of the face or the nose is really, really extended and makes up about half of the length of the beetle. Dr. Chrissy Painting is doing research to understand why the New Zealand giraffe weevil has evolved this amazing adaptation. So this is a female on the side and she's got a really sort of narrow, straight mouth parts. Males have a really long rostrum so that they use them as a weapon to try and fight with other males to gain access to females. And then they've got mouth parts um, right at the end as well but they're kind of enlarged and they use them to actually bite onto other males and try and kind of pull them off the tree. Giraffe weevil mating takes place on the vertical surfaces of tree trunks. The female will search for a suitable spot to lay her eggs. All the while, the male will stay with her, ready to fight off any rival males. The female will use her long rostrum to drill a small hole into the side of the tree trunk. It's into this hole that she will lay her eggs. Even after mating has finished, and the female has laid her eggs, the male will continue to stay with the female for some time, continuing his defense against rival males. When I first decided to work on um, the giraffe weevil, it was a little bit intimidating but exciting to know that, you know, basically nothing was known and all the kind of things that I was wondering about the species were question marks, essentially. I think what attracted me to working on the species was that kind of curiosity driven nature of it where I didn't really know what I was going to find. Um, all I knew was that I had this bizarre looking species in front of me and I had, you know, some pretty good ideas about what might have been driving the evolution of these bizarre behaviours and traits. The range and diversity of interesting biology that's happening in the New Zealand invertebrate fauna is what really excites me. Every new species that we find in the field and have a good look at seems to have an amazing story to tell and that's really what, what excites me about them. Research like this can really help us understand why animals evolve these weird and wonderful adaptations. And with so many unique creatures here in a place like New Zealand, we're really only scratching the surface of what's going on.